Hey everybody, happy International Women's Day to all you beautiful women and all you amazing men who um, appreciate all the amazing women in your lives. It's great to be a woman. I love being a woman. <laughs> I'm glad I was born a woman this time. So here's my message for you. This is what I've learned. Hey, Pam, welcome. In my, um, I'd say in the last 20 years, what I've gradually gotten better and better at and more recently, like really good at, and that's um, being myself and trusting that I am enough as myself and working more on that rather than trying to be somebody else or something else, working more on being fully okay with who I am and letting that shine through. So it really applies for if you're an online entrepreneur and you're showing up online to show up as yourself and be okay with that and trust that you'll attract the right um, audience. And, you know, really, um, well, sometimes I get feedback about, you know, that my videos should be more professional and that's fair enough. And that's, and I say, yes, you know, that um, really I could do professional lighting and, you know, be more structured. But for me, it's showing up as myself and keeping it real and sharing value. And that's what resonates most with me for working online. I don't want to be so polished. I want to be real in my real life. And there's nothing against being polished. But basically, you will attract to you the people that are meant to work with you by being yourself, by showing up as yourself. That's just an example in the online world, but obviously this applies in every area of your life. In your relationships, don't try to be somebody else, the person that you believe, which I was a master at when I was younger, you know, figuring out how people would like me, how to show up so that people would like me, which is very, very sad. You know, it's really um, uh, betraying yourself or not, you know, valuing other people more than you, which now I see is really, really sad. But um, at the time, it seemed like the best survival way because I didn't believe that I was enough as I was. Um, Obviously, you're not going to please everybody, and when the, but the most important person to please is yourself. And to focus, you know, if you think about it logically, like why would you want to please somebody else rather than yourself? And the more yourself that you are, the more you'll, um, you'll connect with people that resonate with that vibe. If you are showing up not as who you are, you will be, all your relationships will be misaligned. So when you show up as yourself in your relationships, in life, in everything that you do, then it will flow. It will flow. But if you are believing that I need to be more like this or less like that, then you're going to be attracted to mismatched relationships, mismatched experiences. So look at, you know, a good exercise would be to write down on a piece of paper. This is a good exercise. I used to do this a lot with clients actually, is to get them to, um, I don't know why I stopped. I guess I forgot about it. <laughs> we should start doing it again. But I would, I'm just getting a blank piece of paper, my nearly finished journal. Um, so to, you know, write, put, I put down the middle a line and on the right hand side is the ideal me and on the left side is the current me. And, so often, you know, if, if people write the ideal me there and the current me, they're rejecting, we, that's what we do, we reject the current me because we're thinking, no, I need to be more like that. And of course, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with striving. I'm always striving to be my best self, so to work towards it. But at every stage, to love yourself and accept yourself and, and admire yourself for the work you're doing to get more towards that direction. But don't miss out on fully appreciating yourself now as you are and all the small little details that make up you and your uniqueness. Um, today, I wish for you that you can fully appreciate those things. Everything, all the curves, all the um, faults that you perceive as faults, all of them just... And, and for the places where you feel like you've messed up, just have compassion today, choose compassion. It's International Women's Day and I know that, you know, as women, it's so easy for us to support others, to rise others up, but rise yourself up today. The more you that you are, the more you that you appreciate, the more 
you will shine and um, live an authentic, meaningful life. So I wish that for you. If you want my help to do that, then join me for three months, 12 weeks of um, working with me for creating a life that you love and a business that you love on your terms where you can show up unapologetically um, you make no excuses for the person that you are. Um, you step into the role of the you that you truly, um, that resonates with you. And um, you live from that place. It's a very freeing place to live from. So um, get in touch if you want to jump on board and have daily accountability support from me and a weekly Skype call to work through all the fears, etc., that are holding you back from fully owning your magnificence. Have a great weekend. Bye.